Woman who locked her daughter in a closet, nearly starved her to death, will now spend 34 years in prison. It's our other top story today. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom was in the courtroom today and said she's never seen anything like what happened when Jacole Prince was read that sentence. Cynthia. Yeah, what an incredible day in court. Krista, you're absolutely right there. Uh, this is really a story you could title the tale of the two J. Cole princes. At first, remorseful and sorrowful, and then angry and ready to fight. Take a look at this video. You'll see exactly what I mean. Now, this is J. Cole Prince as she walked into the courtroom. You can tell she didn't want to be there. This was her day of reckoning for locking her 10-year-old daughter in a closet and starving her for years. Prosecutors argued for the 34-year sentence that the jury recommended, but Prince's defense attorney claimed his client had mental problems and no sane mom would do that to their own child. Before sentencing, Prince actually decided to make a statement to the judge, apologizing. I never intended for any of this to happen. I had emotions too, and I'm sorry, and I apologize to my children. But they had to go through what they had to go through in my house, in our household. Seven years on count three. No. The judge said he didn't buy the mental health argument and gave her 34 years, and that made her angry. While the judge was still talking, Prince stood up and started to walk out of the courtroom. Deputies rushed over, tried to stop her as she continued trying to leave. They finally put handcuffs on her, and the judge allowed them to take her out. And as she left the courtroom, she shouted and cursed at the judge, telling him to shut up. The drama continued in the hallway. It took three deputies to get her into the jail elevator. The whole time she was struggling and swearing at the deputies, telling them to stop touching her. Well, they finally got her into that jail elevator, and tonight she is in jail where she begins serving the 34-year sentence handed down today by the judge here. Reporting live at the Jackson County Courthouse, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.